Hello friends, God bless you. And since morning, I am meditating on the story from Matthew chapter 14, where Jesus feed 5,000 men. And scholar believes that uh, with women and children, it could be close to 15 to 20,000 people. And here is the thing. As soon as I mention about that, Jesus feed 5,000, you will realize that you heard this story hundred times. You might have read it hundred times. You have heard sermons on hundred times. But here is a one thing that Holy Spirit highlighted to me that I wanted to share with you. One verse. Jesus told their disciples, tell the people to sit down. Sit down. Now you see, whatever happened, the dialogue happens between Jesus and disciples. People were not able to hear that. What is what what has happened here? Jesus cousin John was beheaded, and Jesus was grieving, and he went to deserted place. And when he saw came out in a deserted place, he saw a multitude, and his heart was filled with compassion and he healed them all, Bible says. He, there was nobody left without receiving healing. Whether it's a Jew or Gentile, whether it's a rich or poor, whether it's, it's a, a young or old, everyone got healed. Jesus never asked them what you have done in your life. They all have experienced physical healing. They have experienced the goodness of God. And now the whole day has passed by and evening has come. And Jesus' disciples were worried about people that they will be hungry and there was not enough food. And I bet it was not just disciples. There would be, there were, there would be families there, husband and wife and children. Some children might be telling their parents that I'm hungry. And the same same idea that this is a deserted place, there is no food here, must be on so many people's mind. And when Jesus say, sit, tell them to sit down, that means people have stood up. Stood up for what? Stood up to go their home. Why? Because it is evening is coming, they were hungry, and the whole day they have not ate nothing, and they can go home and eat something. They all stood up. And in that moment, Jesus comes, or the, the instruction from Jesus comes to them, sit down. Now people have two choices. One is I am already standing to go my home. I can go home and eat something. Or I have seen the goodness of God that regardless of what life I have lived, God has healed me. I have seen something about goodness of God. Can I trust him? Can I sit down again? Because when Jesus said, tell them to sit down, he has never told them that once they sit down, they will be fed. That was not told them. And sometimes God does not tell what he is doing. And I, I don't know why. And I cannot explain it. But I can tell you one thing. He is God. He doesn't need to tell me everything what he is doing. Because he is God and I am not. And second thing, I can tell that he is a good God. God with a full of compassion and love for your and my situation. As the idea of people are hungry on, on the forefront of disciples' mind, it must be on forefront of a lot of people. But Jesus also had the same concern that people are hungry and they have not ate anything. But he did not tell what he what he is going to do. He simply said, tell people to sit down. And people who have seen God's goodness sat on the ground. They didn't know what is going to happen. But what happened, we know that as they sat down, the bread and fish started coming in. And there was a plenty of supply. There was no shortage. They can eat and eat and eat until they are satisfied. Until they are completely full. 
I don't know if they have, would have gone home, they would have ate something, but they would have missed the bread and fish came from the hand of God. A blessed thing. They, at their home, they would have eaten something that they have earned on their, by their own effort. But here, they are receiving a prepared meal. They might have, if they would have gone home, they could have, they, they, they needed to prepare meal for themselves. They had to work something still. While here, they don't have to do nothing. They just sat down and the food, prepared food, was delivered to them. And they ate until they satisfied. They needed food. It was getting evening. It was getting dark. And, and you and I might be in the same situation. Maybe evening is coming and we needed healing. Maybe evening is around the corner and we needed a breakthrough. Maybe evening is right here and now we need a restoration and relationship breakthrough in our situation. And in those ex time, we can look our lives and we can say that God is a good God. We have seen him mold miraculously in our life. And if God is telling us to sit down, can we trust him? Can we sit down? If we go home, that means if we go on our own way, we try to find a solution for our situation in our own effort. And it may not be enough. It may not work. But if we wait upon the Lord, and if He says to sit down, believing on the character of God, that He is a good God, and He always do good, and He is filled with a compassion for you and me, then we will be satisfied. We will be fed till we are satisfied. We got our healing. We will have a breakthrough. We will have a restoration. We will have a new beginning. Can you trust God? If He is asking you to sit down, are you willing to sit down? Even if it is a night. Because God is a good God. Jeremiah 29, 11 says that day, I have planned to prosper him and not to harm you, declares the Lord. He does not lie. He loves you and me so much that even if we don't ask, he knows our need and he will. He is committed to meet our needs. I think God has blessed you today. Thank you.